One, go. Okay, Cyrus says back in the office we had a bit of a COVID scare, so we had to shut it for two days. Officially fourteen, but I thought two days is enough in my little Hindustan, which is different from the wide world with all its laws. Before we get the lovely Vasanti with her talent to grace this podcast and make it better, I want to just tell people uh, my dad is retired because he's not really well, so I'm starting to give away some of his memorabilia. This is. A fabulous uh, tribute to Indian cricket. It's a video tape called uh, "Greatest Moments of Indian Cricket, 1932 to 1986." That's right. The kind of people listen to my show, 1932 to 1986, and it's got Tiger Padawan, arguably our greatest captain, dashing man, uh, Vijay Hazare, century innings in Adelaide back in the day, 46, if I remember correctly. Wadikar who led us to victory in 71. West Indies at their best. England at their best. Uh, Sunil Gavaskar for me, the greatest Indian batsman of all time, bar none. Vishen Singh Bedi, greatest left arm spinner of all time, bar none. And Kapil Dev, greatest all rounder, bar none. I'm selling this. Vasanthi will be pleased to know. Just the going rate would be people would ask for more collector's item, but I'm selling it only for ten thousand rupees. Ten thousand rupees video cassette. You need a VCR also, but just to show that I'm not lying, here mm-hmm. is the video cassette. And mm-hmm. take a look here. There you go. So, so there's no lies. Everything is there. That's it. Let's now introduce our guest. Enough of cricket. Let's talk about our esteemed guest. And since I know exactly what I'm talking about, I welcome Vasanthi Hari Prakash, who I must say has elevated our show to uh, Generation Next. And uh, shall I just describe you for 15 minutes with all the stuff I've got here? Namaskara, Sairi Sawre, Bangalore, Inda. Khandita, please go ahead and describe my my it's immensely uh, rich. Uh, list of uh, you know achievements in my life namaskara vasanti the deccan herald uh, in which your column window seat appears every month is is a center spread and it says uh, that you can chat with a stone and get a story out of it today you'll be uh, chatting with blubber actual blubber for the first time what the whales have underneath their body and you'll be trying to get something out of it so it will be a challenge for you uh, yeah. for two decades vasanthi has left none of these stones un- untold or stories untold uh, radio print television and the unfiltered live shows on our social media pages in english kannada tamil and hindi wow that's a true linguist huh? because if you just spoke just the south languages it would be one thing english and some western languages would be another but you've got all over the place here Wow, that a lot of respect. Since I hardly speak English, forget the other three. An award-winning radio anchor and TV journalist, columnist, and public speaker. Blush, please. Are you blushing? Very, very. And see, see, it's it's all over. It's it was actually a white sari. It's it's just turned pink, as I heard you describe. Is it? But yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, I, I love doing this because they do that to us on stage. I'm sure it happens to you also in yeah. India. They always do the over uh, power powering style, right? So they always have, you know, they put you on stage and say, "Welcome the chief guest or the guest or whatever," and then they'll talk for 20 minutes about achievements you can't remember, and then you just have to sit there feeling awkward and embarrassed. I just wanted to do that. See, Cyrus, Cyrus. So I, I just want to pause here because mm-hmm. there is there is 20 minutes of stuff to be said about your life. Mine, what you read is just done. That's it. Those four five lines is is all that that there is to. Know. You can't be modest, Vasanthi, because I've got sixteen pages that fit on my phone. There's not one play up plus whatever crappy phone that I have. Oh, my daughter should never hear that lovely phone that I have. Uh, doesn't have the technology to hold what you've done. Okay, I'll quickly go through a little bit more so that we don't leave it out. Uh, you are the host of the breakfast prime time on Bangalore's Radio City. See, this is very interesting again because you're you're a writer, you're a presenter, you got into podcast, your radio, television. Uh, I mean, the the whole nine yards, and you're literally wearing a sari. So yeah, yeah, yeah. and and I do wear the nine yards, which which in South India is called the muddy sar, M A D I S A R. You can even go on a bike in that nine yard sari. It's so convenient. Oh, uh, you mean to yeah. cover? Yeah. And you, yeah. and the great thing about a sari is you don't need to wear a mask. You can just use that as a parda as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's I'm a big fan of the sari. It makes But even men. I should be following protocol. Yeah. There you go, and it makes even men look good. I, I can tell you, my friend Kunal Vijaykar wears a sari once a week. He looks lovely. He has the hips for it, of course. Not everybody does. Um, let's get back. Bangalore Radio City, ninety-one point one FM, and spe- special correspondent at NDTV twenty-four-seven, which is one of the few channels uh, which occasionally may speak uh, openly, but then just for a second. Uh, the new Indian Express as documentary anchor for a South Asia series, one square mile. You've done too much. We, we don't have time. You tell me what you want to talk about. I, I, I don't know where to start. This is too much. It's too much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You say, Vasanthi. In the words of the Great poet, आप बताओ. You say. Yeah. अब मैं अपने मुंह से क्या कहूँ, Cyrus? अपने बारे में. 
ओ माई गॉड हिंदी चैलेंज देखिए मैं थोड़ा बीमार हूँ बाद में बात करता हूँ ठीक है वसंती एंड करियर द दो किंग पॉडकास्ट लेट्स स्टार्ट इन द बिगिनिंग लेट्स हैव अ टेक्नोलॉजी विल बिकॉज़ यू बीन ऑल ओवर द प्लेस व्हाट केम फर्स्ट राइटिंग बिहाइंड न्यूज नाइस वुड वुडन न्यूज डेस्क एट द इंडियन एक्सप्रेस बिल्डिंग ऑन बैंगलोर क्वींस रोड नंबर वन नंबर वन क्वींस रोड वॉज एड्रेस um and and you know come how far from the airport uh <laughs> 178 kilometers with wow. that <laughs> wow <laughs> wow traffic jam <laughs> there you go huh. so that was as a yeah sorry that was as a that came first i would say uh, otherwise literally uh, you know tripping all over uh, bihar punjab uh, uttar pradesh Tamil Nadu. Thanks to my father's job, that you know. Uh, oh, hence you speak fluent Hindi and Hindi. all. You were stuck in the in the cow belt for some time. I see. I, was. I, was. I understand. Um, okay, so let's go a little bit back to understand where and why you decided to get into. Let's say first it was print. So you want to be a writer, I presume. Uh, yeah, journalist because uh, you know it just felt so cool that that word uh, next to one's identity. Otherwise, I was escaping the world of. physics and electronics i graduated in uh, you know what was called the bsc electronics honors and then i just said that you know it's way cooler asadi i have a question bsc is a waste of time degree who gets a bsc uh, unless you study further this it's pointless i don't know a single bsc who's done well in life no I, yeah neither me me neither i'm telling you <laughs> Sorry, I'm just kidding. Yeah, but is it overrated because they study so hard? See, I was in arts, and we had the science guys in Xavier's. They would work hard. We'd be sitting in the quad. At the end of the day, unless they went and studied further, none of them like went anywhere with the BSc. You can't walk into any job. Let's tell the truth here on the podcast. Do not do a BSc unless you're going to do more than a BSc. Right? Yeah, but, you know, do not do a. I don't know. Is there any point in doing BA for that matter or oh. BE? I after after praising me offline for five minutes now you've decided to start the ladai. This is the first battle of Panipat and it's Vasanti who has uh, betrayed the so-called leader, the old man on the podcast. Back to you again. Um, yeah, so you decided to get into being a journalist. You corrected me, not a writer. So basically, you wanted to right wrongs, look at society from different perspectives. What change Give the me... world? Change the world? Why not? When you're young, at least you should have some ideals, and then anyway they'll go. Yeah. And it's, right. a, it's a good ideal to have to change the world in any time, and it doesn't come with an expiry date. You see, I mean, you ask as, uh, someone on the road, they may still want to change today's world as I wanted to change two decades back. Yeah, I mean, the world is anyway a work in progress, isn't it? I mean, it's not like it can ever be healed fully. You just keep going. It's like marriage. You just oh, hope that it gets better. Good God! Oh, sorry to bring you down. <laughs> <laughs> okay so that's print so you first in uh, indian express always had that chop that uh, that feeling of being one of the most prominent in terms of being truthful honest taking on establishments anti establishment i wouldn't okay fair enough but you know so was that the lower you wanted to be part of the the rebel newspapers the ones that call it out well tonight today i shall tell you the truth cyrus uh, it was none of it it was just that there was there was a There was an ad. There was an interview, or rather, it wasn't an ad. Yeah, someone said that Indian Express is looking for uh, sub editors. Uh, I walked in, got the job. It felt nice. All right. So you weren't thinking of Indian Express as a brand. I wasn't thinking of taking on the establishment either. Okay, fair at enough. At point of time, uh, because I was a cup sub. I mean, the six, uh, you know, first six months they put you on probation, so you're literally the cup on the desk. Cup sub means like a trainee. Yeah, cup sub editor was fashionably called cup sub. Uh, you, get... you know the house owner where when uh, you know we used to stay my younger sister and i and uh, the house owner actually uh, we had moved into a new place in bangalore and the owner walked in and he got a bunch of his friends nice good kannada gentleman and he said uh, madam he told my mother saying um, you know we wanted to meet the editor of indian express who's moved into our house so at that point i think arun shauri had just kind of moved Ooh. out as the editor i hope he uh, he never got to meet this canada uh, house owner of ours uh, so the impression was was great uh, even if you're on probation you you get to be known as the you get to be mistaken for i mean you know between an editor and a sub editor no 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 hello hello i i don't want to use this example but keep in mind when you try to get into a school system you need the watchman or the peon if you try to get something passed in a government office you need the peon the guy in the in the, in the uniform so yeah. in a sense with due respect there's a very strong role played by people at the bottom of the hierarchy also Let, let's not confuse the issue 
No, no, but I'm you the... know what? I, may I correct you? Please do. The bottom of the hierarchy. Yeah. Stop there. It's not just also because I believe that that's where the most important work gets done. Um, but but you know people do stay unsung until of course they they begin to rise in designations. So you're saying our prime minister is not the most powerful man, but the guy who basically brings him his chai is the most powerful man. I would. Oh, that might be a friend. Wait, somewhere down in the hierarchy <laughs> is the most powerful man. Yeah. Watch me just nod to what you say without saying much. I, I have huge respect for watchmen, for example. I think you can't enter a building, an office, uh, an institution, a school, a college. I mean, they, they are the uh, parliament. Wherever you go, it's the watchman. The yeah. watchman is the key to society. People don't understand. It. Look, during the lockdown, how important the watchman was in buildings, letting people in or out. Mm. Oh, I was the only one who told them, keep the gates open uh, at all times. We are democracy. We shouldn't. We find it very aggressive and people just shut the gates of their building. Like, oh, we're keeping the disease out with those big bars. Like, the virus yeah. can still get in. It makes no sense to me. Yeah. All right, back to your career. Too many things to discuss. Um, hey, I want to ask you. We're up north. Did they call you Basanti? And how many times did people do the Nach Basanti joke from Shole and all that? No, I mean it's it's uh, all the time, right? Like it's uh, see when I was in UP, I was Basanti. When when, <laughs> when and we had a, a Bengali teacher for whom I was Bashonti. And Super. in Tamil Nadu, Tamil Nadu, no no chance. I mean, Ta becomes the, Pa becomes Bha, right? So so. I'm Basanti there, and in Canada, of course, I'm Basanti. So I, I know to my ears are tuned to responding to minimum seven. So and what half. is the right pronunciation? Basanti Hari Prakash. Is it really? Yeah. Basanti. It's a, it's a sweet name. And I, you know what? people insist on uh, in 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 UP. They don't know what to do with an extra H in my name. I'm a proper South Indian, so it's V A C N T H I. So they'll say Basanti ji, abhi aap se baat karenge, uh, and then otherwise I'm like. You know, and but but we South Indians add edge to everything. So no, it's, it's wonderful because actually the name is a, a, a pan India name, but the pronunciation changes completely by the time you reach Bengal or deep in the heartland of UP. Yeah. Amazing. That's why I say we should have only three or four names across India, like Bobby, Bunty, Toto, Raju. We should just stick to those kind of names. You can't go wrong. Try but, your but, best. But but your name also one can't do. My no. name is is molested. It's molested. You have to file a. You know, you have to go all the way to the appellate system to the Supreme Court to what they've done to my name. You have no idea. But I have reached a point where I just give up. Whatever the name is in the year of the other person, I accept it. I just think it's great. There's no point trying to start a cultural explanation. No, 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 no. Give us an example. Like what can Cyrus be? I have been called on, on, on the phone, and this is when they have the Aadhaar card and all or whatever they have information. Cybal, <laughs> Bengali, Simon, Catholic, <laughs> uh, Silesh in Maharashtra is a given. <laughs> if you say it audio wise just for the year you uh, sir aapka naam kya hai sir a driver who's dropping you somewhere and she says sir sir ji aapka naam kya hai very politely you say silas quickly he says ha silas ji and that's it for two days of service that he gives you in the car your silas ji is put in the phone everything i never correct them or something this is my gift to you never correct people they feel very happy you correct them is start feeling awkward to say your name again because it may be difficult culturally to get that name right so they don't want to hurt you so i don't get into that i just yeah. say that's fine call me what you want like uh, my belief is if you even use mc bc or bad galis it means nothing unless your internet intention is malicious and mean so i don't oh, care yeah. so if they can call, call me anything if the intent is not mean it doesn't bother me at all but, but they can call my name in a bad way like my wife does and then i know that that's 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 worse than a gali that's really abusive she's mm -hmm. right there outside so we can't talk about her promise me wasanti we will not discuss her yes yes promise yes, i'm yes. i'm your friend for the next 30 minutes Please be my friend Yeah, we guys are talking an attractive woman, albeit in a sari. I'll get more beating. Will there be, will there be a court case after this? No, no court case. We can proceed. Um, let's get back to you. Uh, the, so no, one sec. So we did the print, and then where did the move happen to radio, television? Just give us a little chronology. Yeah. Okay. So um, you know, as as much as people don't uh, know when they take their newspapers, who's given the headline, they just think it's like that Sri Devi movie, Mr. India, right? Like there's this. Investigative journalist who's out to uh, expose Mogambo, and she, and she in one and a half hours. <laughs> in one and a half hours, yeah. and she just you know she comes straight with the report, reporting and with her reportage one one printed copy that you see, and then she daintily with her nail, nail polish finger she hands it on. He can't be press me they do she says, and then walks off. Unlike that, in a newspaper office, there were seven of us working away at different desks, business and sports and news features and lifestyle and what have you. And I was in the late city edition. and it was good fun except that in 2000 i i just thought that you know uh, when we uh, uh, when i wanted to change the world but i realized that i was changing diapers more often there was this 
little boy and I said, okay, I should be a proper Bollywood mom type and uh, read out stories. That's when I said bye-bye to my night shift uh, and, you know, city edition job. And then I joined uh, what was called the dot-com uh, that time. And it the, just the dot com so that bust. Yes. Yeah. Bust and took away a, a bit of a PF and savings also. That's it. Same. That same. That same. Yeah. yeah. But, but the good thing is, what, what came out of it was that in the state of utter joblessness uh, after the dot com thing, um, two things happened. One is that I became part of a very, what has grown to be an incredible network of women journalists. Uh, it's called NWMI. You see, Network of Women in Media India. It's a collective of uh, women from print, broadcast, electronic media, digital. Um, and then it was literally like a sisterhood. And I was the butcher of the group, at least back then, um, uh, you see. And I was taking, my job was to take notes. One senior journalist, uh, Shakuntala Narasimhan in Bangalore, fun, fantastic lady, you know, she, she wrote about 35 years of a column on consumer rights and stuff like that. So she said uh, an FM radio station is in town, a very cool one, and they want to know what women journalists are up to, and one of us should go. And then I saw her looking at me. I got sent to this uh, radio station, I, and I was trembling, but I never really seen, except good old Akashwani, where we had got, you know, taken to once. Um, but then I went as a guest uh, to Radio City, and um, one guy who is actually probably in your city, I'm guessing that you're in Mumbai now, and, and he's, a, you know, he's a Bangalorean turned into a Mumbaiker, Suresh Venkat. And so, Suresh, Arey, you should work at CNN. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. Horrible that, fellow, horrible fellow. That's him, that's him, Suresh fellow. He pulled yeah. me into radio, and I started, I, I realized that I'd started waking up the city of Bangalore by saying, Good morning, Bangalore City, for four hours. And I did this for four years every morning. And it, uh, you know, good morning, Bangalore. Um, I, I, you know, I, I would love to say, went on to Ghana, good acclaim, and, and it was good fun to be on it. But when that you said you'd, you'd say you'd wake up Bangalore to good morning for four hours, isn't they really lazy? And it takes four hours for them to wake up? Uh, no. oh, it's an early morning show. See, I am guessing that your show has got maximum listenership from Bangalore. Do you want me to damage your... Uh, listenership. Actually, viewership. actually, they did a I, survey, and, and you're right. Our little show only has uh, viewership in Bangalore and Delhi. Very little in Mumbai, uh, apparently. Even, even those five people who are listening to us right now from Bangalore might be outraged if I hey. see Bangaloreans. Basanti, sorry, Basanti. Please remember one thing. Uh, it's a, what Pearl Padamsi used to tell us. It's a quality audience, not a quantity audience. <laughs> <laughs> and the moment she said that, we knew we had an empty house. It used to be so sad. All the actors who get depressed, all the motivation to perform goes out. Don't worry, it's a quality audience, not a quantity audience. <laughs> but is, this, is this what you say to someone who is all set to leave for Bengal on a you know, self-funded solo journey of four, 14 days into uh, Bhesh Bengal, for, you know, into the towns and villages of Moshidabad and Nabodweep and Darjeeling and Kalimpong. This is what you say that there is no order. But are you, shouldn't you wait for, to grow my career? shouldn't Vasanti wait to see who forms the government before she goes to Bengal? Who knows? Maybe you're speaking to the queen, make her. The compromise, is it? You know, the <laughs> compromise between the two powerful <laughs> factions. Okay, now are you not told me a couple of things I need to before we, because otherwise we'll run out of time. The podcast and television. Yeah. So, so um, Cyrus, NDTV happened right after radio. Um, and uh, hey, the but, but, sorry, sorry to interrupt. But you also won a prize in radio, uh, best uh, Indian uh, excellence award. Oh, India Radio Excellence Award, best English RJ. Is that correct? Yeah. Wow. I've yeah. been on radio myself for 15, 20 years. No award, English or otherwise. See, one, even, second, one second, you, you are you are out of the race. Does Lata Mangeshkar participate in singing contests? I mean, that's that's left. He to... tries, but they say age be a cheese hai and don't let her in for some reason. <laughs> legends, Cyrus, legends. Are, I mean, race Please but, don't uh, stop, Vasanti. Please carry on for five <laughs> minutes. <laughs> let me not come in the way of your conversation. Yeah. <laughs> so best, best English RJ, do these things help? Do you suddenly become more prominent? Helps, see, I'll tell you, immensely helps. I mean, um, I'll tell you how. The biggest help that an award does is your bosses finally start agreeing with you or at least let you do your thing. I'm telling you, this is the only thing an award is worth winning. Not for the people, not for yourself, not for your resume. 
Of course, two little side effects happened. One is I got sent to London to study the best practices of the radio space. Wow. Given that UK is a pioneer in radio. So, you, you know, you get to have a good time basically at company expense. You had quite the yeah. life, wasn't it? And you cannot ever say you were bored because nothing has been so one-dimensional and one-track. I mean, you go from here to there, you travel all over. As a child, you traveled all over. So, you're one of those people who honestly, at the end of your life, you'll have to say, look, I, I can't complain. I don't think you can. Yeah. Because most people tell me how bored they are because geographically they're in the same place, sometimes in the same job and in the same situation with the same friends. I mean, uh, the sameness is a huge uh, punishment that other people don't understand. You, you luckily have never followed or felt that. Um, for Let me tell you, for better, not for worse. Now that I've lectured you as an older man, let me go on to... Uh, you're, also, you're also a classical music singer. This is a typical... Uh, South Indian, uh, yeah. I, I, would, I would say Brahmin, but I wouldn't get into it. Uh, South Indian phenomenon where you have to, I think the Parsis have something similar. You have to learn an instrument. Uh, it's just, just the way it is. I have grown up with so many South Indian kids and whether they like it or not, by the age of seven, they're already giving recitals or they can sing really well or they can play something. Yeah, yeah. We have no other alternative but to be talented. And uh, uh, what about you? Which instrument did you uh, did you sort of... Get great at it. If I wanted to make fun, I'd say the organ, but I won't. Uh, so we we'll started with the, uh, it was called the recorder. It's like a form of flute. Then after that, the piano. But now I can hardly play. I mean, I tried, nothing's come back to me. I could play uh, lots of stuff, but it's all That's gone now. I yeah. can play something for you right now. Please do. Yeah, I think this is uh, number 21, Mozart, Sonata. How do you like that? Oh, man, it was just outstanding. That's how I keep the ladies happy. I just play my piano everywhere I go. <laughs> uh, stop it. All one, right. day, one day, please get your wife on the show because I want... She's right to there. Places. Don't say... I don't know if they can hear through the headphones. Don't mention her name. My wife is like the government. There's so many rules and protocol we have to follow. You don't understand. You can't make fun of her. You, I'll get trolled. You can't take her on. You can't talk about policy change. You can't ask for department inquiries. You can't actually point and ask for RTO. Nothing. Hmm. It's, a, it's a world where... I yeah, would say, you, do look, you do look suitably oppressed. I must she's say. like a pretty Kim Jong-un. You know? <laughs> That's what it is. Love you, baby. She can't hear. We're fine for now. If I die during this podcast, please... Check out my wife's uh, position in this entire matter. I want an investigation to follow, and it has to be done by Ornob. I trust no one else. Vasanthi yep. yep. and Ornob together will crack the case because you are the journalist. Um, you uh, got an invitation to the US consulate in Chennai to guide young adults towards their goals. I'll come back to TV. What does that mean? To, to US consulate sent you to Chennai? I was I was just hoping that you know you will let that sentence be without deeply probing what I did or why I was called because it was, you know, one doesn't have to fulfill what their intent was. I mean, to guide young adults towards their goals in life. I mean, for someone who's not yet so... Like an inspiration. Okay, yes. Okay, okay so it's an awkward question. I, I know you don't want to answer it. But you basically went like a life coach to push people. And is it more for the ladies? Is it a gender thing? No, it wasn't. But uh, what followed is a, another award, which is, uh, I thought it was like a funny award, but it's not. Largely award for gender sensitivity in journalism. Hmm. 2020. That was about three months, um, yeah, four months back. Uh, and that came for election traveling to the remotest districts of Karnataka and putting women in the spotlight. I mean, so because, you, know, you know, you know, finally, finally, when, uh, when I say jokes apart, and I, I, you know, I, it was one of the best things I decided to do, which is to take off uh, and not bother about the fact that no media was really saying, oh, Vasanti, you know, the nation needs to know what you're saying and please, you, you know, we have a tie with it. None of it. I just pulled out a little of my own savings, got uh, traveling on 12 districts of Karnataka and I just told myself I shall go where TV channels don't reach, which could be places in the Hyderabad, Karnataka region, central Karnataka, you know, um, yeah, I mean, places like Raichur, Gulbarga, Bidar, Basava Kalyan. So where is the television media, if you were watching that during the election, so they would, you know, throw words and terms at, at uh, people like you, let's say, saying that the Lingayat politics of Karnataka and then this is the... Oh, yeah, that, that's a famous one. Yeah. yeah. So I we, just, we have a Lingayat boy in our studio, so I got the full story on that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So I just thought that I should say it in simple, simple language uh, without, uh, you know, any masala in it and I shall say what I see. And uh, yeah, that was what the lad. You're the misfit. 
in this modern world where you know everybody wants fame and fortune and all that and the insta has to run before you actually do anything you on the other hand quietly took out your own money so you're really left of center it was very scary i don't know how you're going to survive in this country i'm telling you I right now you know at least in the next 14 days i would love to turn capitalist or whatever is the right word yeah where, towards where, the right literally yeah 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 towards the right uh, yeah. and then you know the bank balance starts looking india shining type um and, and this is the kind and of, i'm banking on your show today i don't this. think you're shallow enough it's uh, i'm sorry to tell you you need to be more shallow you need to be like me insensitive not care when you don't care you can do all this when you start caring about people and probing issues and all that sadly you still have that in you so i can't help you honestly someone has to be your patron so so i mean can i do anything to remedy myself and and uh, let's say become like you no I, i don't know how you can because basically you're a more sensitive human being like we can't change the dna balance. become like you and your bank balance i was about to say what bank you... balance i uh, all free clothes i've explained to you i'm just a conjuice i don't like to i always have pants without pockets so i don't have to spend money yeah yeah you know, it's actually, the same philosophy about carrying a gun because you'll kill someone so i don't carry money because you'll spend it i just believe that you can ask my good friend kostum sitting here he's been asking for a loan for one year and i've given him a t-shirt which yeah. i won't back by the way press it properly uh listen listen we have to go to break before that, i want to ask you because you're talking bangalore all the time what's your take on the zomato case i can't remember that lady's name but uh, <laughs> yeah. um yeah i don't uh, it might seem again like a plug but i wrote an entire column on 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 the same zomato case please tell us yes so i in fact said that uh, it just shows uh, and as per what social media was you know debating all those days so initially when we saw the lady come up on the insta feed and bleeding nose some of us did feel that oh no look at what's happened to her but most bangaloreans at least are were wise enough and they they were like oh, there's more to this i mean and so the sympathy evaporated pretty quickly i would say um and then of course came the version of the guy and what definitely stays in my mind and i am seriously not passing judgments because what the courts ka kaam hai you see lekin uh, when you know you see you saw this guy his eyes bringing with tears and he said that listen he i have been the one who's lost my job and no one's giving me a hearing uh mai mai aurat nahi to mai galat so and that's the line which i started my writing with saying that sorry to be insensitive but that's a funny line mai aurat nahi to galat sorry 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 yeah. uh, and and uh, it's okay uh, cyrus so you are you're allowed to uh, you know react and respond to what this was really i apologize she might take on the case because for me it was a larger thing about how we tend to treat these food delivery people the courier people the listing so it just shows this this whole layer you know like uh, when we are also uh was it is it fair to say that we are so prejudiced in terms of decision making it's like a cricket match you want to take a side and that's uh, that is based not on justice or critical look at what's happened but more like either it's a class reverse class thing where i feel you know the poor guy has been bullied by the rich woman or it's a gender thing where i think the woman is being bullied by a male so i'm i'm thinking that many people the perspective when you have a conversation with them on this subject it opens up a lot of our own uh, you know hidden But, paranoias if you like yeah 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 no and and, and it was quite an uh, i mean interesting case study though it was it was hardly interesting for for the people stuck in it uh, you know but but i i seriously think this is this is something which which uh, which should be eye opening for a lot of people i mean i have spoken to uh, people who deliver stuff and and courier this thing like for instance even you know beyond that a friend of mine opened a new business you know she she's a, she's a startup person and she actually went to deliver some product of hers drove all the way to whitefield anybody who knows bangalore knows that whitefield is oh saturday. yes saturday whitefield oh my god no yeah I then come and meet you in mumbai then to actually go to whitefield i, yeah. I would listen to... my only criticism of bangalore is how the traffic has gone berserk please don't remind me it makes me feel like it's become worse in mumbai and we always loved bangalore sorry go on yeah yeah so i was saying that she went to that this place uh, and you know with uh, with a lot of i think it was some kind of an art piece and stuff like that she drives all the way and the woman who was receiving it just just takes it inside and says thank you and slams the door i mean in an earlier generation like i remember how my grandmother would offer water and all that yeah yeah buttermilk in in chennai you know i this, would have delivered for buttermilk and oh. she, you know it was a buttermilk made this way like how they showed krishna mythology serials so it was it used to be more as it's called more in tamil so that's how it's so they have, you know you're I mean, so right big vessel I, full of thing and i hate to sound like our 
sorry i hate to sound like our zamana and our generation all that but you're right <laughs> if anybody came to give anything we always if they were sweating we'd offer them like a hand towel we'd offer them water tang whatever was there uh, yeah. how the, we've just changed now the poor guy comes there he's uh, as you said the lady drove to whitefield it must be a horrible drive etc and uh, just to, uh, and to think that of the same class and gender and everything and still yeah, yeah, not a word yeah. that didn't count for anything that's yeah. that's what happened in 2020 But people blame the pandemic for it. I'm saying is the virus no. to blame? Solve the pandemic. We suck. We suck. And the 80s and 90s weren't so bad. I hear. I don't want to get nostalgic, but really. Our zaman was so much better than today's. <laughs> yeah. There we go. There we go. Stop making fun of me. Uh, okay. So here, here's a quick deal. We need to go into a break right now because it's 10:30, and you've spoken f- really too much for something, really. Mm-hmm. But uh, we need to talk about the podcast when we come back, and then do the AMAs. Okay. Oh sure. So, so how many minutes of a break? Uh, do I go and get to whatever you want? You want you want five seconds? We have three options: five seconds, two seconds, or one second. Oh no! I, like I said, I wanted to reapply Kajal before I come. Well, like I said, the sponsor that we don't have is demanded one, five, or three. You tell me. You really want to go? Okay, five then. Five, five it is. All right, uh-huh. we're back after a five-second break here with Vasanthi, uh, Vasanthi Hari Prakash, who's got a new podcast, not well newish. Uh, and you want to take us through that because it's on our family network called IVM, the Dosa King podcast. Is this a? This can't be just food, I'm sure. Uh, it's not just about food. It's about food for thought. It's about the guy who runs the Saravana Bhavan. Uh, you know, founded the Saravana Bhavan Empire, if you will. Uh, but it was it was of a great achiever business tycoon story that went horribly wrong, uh, thanks to his own misdemeanors. So that's what Dosa King is about. It's about the story of P. Rajagopal, and it's actually true crime. Uh, but uh, I would say that you know uh, it's it's of course eight episodes of of how he really really be- began from from a place in uh, in Tamil Nadu, very poor, but but he became what he became. I'm sure you've also had dosas from Saravana Bhavan without ever guessing. I thought they came from Udupi. Uh, you know, Mumbaiers think so. I think I should ask Delhiites this because they they and you know they pronounce it funnily. They say Saravana Bhavan. It's Saravana Bhavan. Saravana Bhavan. Delhi? Yeah, I. Why you why you tam in your pichle janam? <laughs> Romba tam. Inge ba, inge ba, silvery. Let's get in our little producer to help us. The young man from Pawai. Half way hey, to Tamil Nadu from Mumbai. Yeah, tell us, <laughs> Silvery. Yes. Say yes. hi. Yeah, hi, hi. Good morning. Are you Good working on the Dosa King podcast? Uh, I'm working on dosas every day. <laughs> Does that count? That's true. That's true. Yeah. It's one of the unifiers. I'll give you that. Yes. Um, For sure. Okay, AMA time. Vasanthi, are you yes. ready? You know what we do, right? There are some horrible questions coming from many mean people who want to make fun <laughs> of us. But the and... guy isn't Antarik going to filter them all and make it sound very. Uh, no, what he does is when they abuse me uh, in profanity and all, he removes that because he knows yeah. the old man is too sensitive and will cry. So that he doesn't do. But he, he uh, largely eighty percent, it'll be the way it is. You won't get any bad stuff. Don't worry. Thank you. Yeah. How are you ensuring? Hey, hey, Silvery, we're ready. Yes. All right, let's go. Uh, the first one comes in from Abhik Ghosh. He says, uh, "Hello, C and V." That's uh, hello, Silas and Vasanthi. Uh, we are all aware it's of the lack. It's V. We spent ten minutes said, discussing it. I said V. I said okay. V. But uh, in Bengal, V becomes B. In Bihar, B becomes V, or V becomes B again. I mean, the whole thing keeps changing. So she's given up. You given up, right? I have. I have. <laughs> given up. Okay. Sorry. All right. Question. Uh, yeah. Avik asks, uh, "Hello, C and V. Uh, we are all aware of the lack of integrity we see among popular Indian media. But surely there are some inspiring, lesser-known stories in all the garbage." Uh, can you guys please sa- share some if you have any? Hey, this is a good p- point, uh, Vasanthi. Before you share it, we yes. always want to tell the negatives. Now you're yeah. a hardcore journalist at heart, deep down. I mean, whatever you say. Uh, why do we always want to just share the negatives and the you know the lesser, the evil part of our society? Always, we never seem to show enough about the good stories, like people helping people during lockdown. You know, the immigrants who were helped by strangers, for example, uh, vis-a-vis the immigrants who were just pushed out by their uh, flat yeah. owners. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe I think rant and wine, W H A H I N E, seem to do some good things to the system of some people. One would imagine. I don't see any other reason why we do that. But I am. I will tell this person, whoever has asked this uh, question, that I'm really happy to uh, to share uh, the first, let's say, example in in this network of uh, media women that I was telling you about. There is this person called Jayanti Buruda. 
she comes from odisha and um i met her while i was in chatisgarh i was traveling and uh, trying to uh, help or do one spot for a tribal radio station you know a, a radio station that uh, shubhran chuchogri the journalist is trying to set up because that's the place which actually needs communication models more than what metros these pampered metro people need um so i met jayanti there and and jayanti um is the first among her kora tribe to to make it to forget about just schooling herself uh, amidst absolute you know uh, hardships but also to become the first journalist in kora tribe and she puts out her stories in in odia uh, and she's also schooled herself a little bit to speak in english and and her, her uh, facebook i would absolutely freely generously recommend even without her consent and say jayanti buruda j a y a n t i buruda now the reason why i'm uh, putting out jayanti's case though i have really had the uh, privilege of of traveling to so many other places um, in um, in across india one of them neetu singh uh, who who won journalism's top honor uh, it's called the chameli devi jain award named after this very spunky woman who who played a part in india's historic struggle incidentally chameli devi jain you can guess by the jain uh, you know her name is shrinivasan jain's uh, grandmother and oh. She, yeah, yeah, yeah. You can ask. And he speaks pretty good Tamil. I didn't know that until I saw him interviewing. Uh, until you uh, saw him with Stalin. Yeah, the DMK guy is the other day. Yeah. <laughs> By the way, he's my ex-boss, and and uh, I have, of course, absolutely nice memories of working there. Uh, yeah. So, so to to bring it back to the question that has been asked, um, again, you know, a, a group of people in UP, in a, in a uh, media house called Gaon Connection, who are who are trying to do some. a really meaningful uh, journalism holding the mirror to a rural india that is not full sob stories like farmer suicides or you know exotic ki are gaon ki hawa hawa to aisi hai but really saying it like it is um and so uh, in my case of course i have um, let's say whether through through my radio show or even a day after the pandemic uh, you know modi ji came on television and announced this lockdown i thought that i cannot let this whole nation sink in despair so i started doing a show from my house which i call nice thing at night and i kept the premise very simple i didn't have a producer like like antariksh uh, to to back me so what i did was that as my own producer i said i will tell you one nice thing that i have had in my career you know people like jayanti or or the journalist i mentioned and i'll sing you one nice song so this was a you know 20 minute thing 10 minute 10 minute neat capsules so just to say that the world is not as bad as we think it is um and even through the uh, column you know which i which i said uh, window seat for example uh, cyrus let me just quick uh, give you a quick example tomorrow when i'm traveling to bengal i was told even by my very well meaning bong friends that washanti it's not like we do, want don't want you to calm we want you to calm but please be aware that there is too much violence in murshidabad and all these places but i cannot let the fear and the hate and whatever uh, you know dictate my life paths i will go there and i'm planning to go on a on a textile trail to meet those who weave silk in murshidabad uh, to to those who make those fantastic malmal and muslin in nabodweep the the women who work on the looms so there is just so much of uh, beautiful things around and i hope to also play my little part in uh, opening people's eyes to well personally all i can say uh, right now is this is the longest answer in the history of ama's which means our show will have to end because you know it went on for too long but no your point is well made i totally respect the fact that um, you did your i didn't know that you did this this sort of positive reinforcement during the early parts i thought that was the biggest problem we had with the psychological draining and depression that was happening around us and not enough people were just being a little flippant silly or in your case singing songs and things like that just just to uplift uh, just, just get away from because everybody knew there was covid everybody knew there was all this going on you didn't have to be reminded it's like when somebody dies in the family why do people come again and again ask the same question ki kya hua how did it happen don't you think the guys are uh, going through it like 200 times and the 200th person is asking the same question so yeah. that that's just any but you and i are philosophers from another yes. generation and plain so, not Socrates, generation you're young socrates cyrus vasanti that's the meaning yes all i know is i know nothing and now i will drink the hemlock and die in front of everyone to end this podcast in peace <laughs> but no we have a couple more questions yeah. silvery all right uh, next one comes in from aditya sim sr he says uh, it's just a comment but it's a very nice comment he says miss vasanti loved the way you covered the air show in bangalore this year uh, 
Thanks, Amazon. Someone yeah. was watching. Yay, Cyrus, thank you so You'll much. You'll be surprised uh, how much following uh, you've garnered already. I mean, not surprised. I'm sure you know. So uh, it's good to live a life of courage, as Alexander said, you know, and die leaving everlasting fame. But if not, just leave a, lead a life of courage, which I wish I could. But you can and, and have done so far and I hope it continues. Silvery? <laughs> yep. Uh, next one comes in from Sid D.A. He says, uh, AMA to Vasanti, madam. He says, how do you find a balance between woke feminism and actual feminism? As in the case of Neetu Singh, as compared to false dowry cases that are used to extort money. Okay, Sid, uh, as regarding false dowry cases, I completely acknowledge. In fact, in one of the nice thing at nine episodes, I spoke to Deepika Narayan Bharadwaj, who's made an entire documentary on men who are framed in false cases uh, yeah. of Section 498A. It's called Martyrs of Marriage. In fact, I, I, I you know, I, I don't mind putting this <laughs> right, Cyrus, right. So, um, see, I, I will not hesitate to call out uh, those who are misusing uh, gender as, as, you know, as a point. Uh, Ultimately, for me, the, the, the feminism that works, and, and I'm glad you, you made a distinction between Neetu uh, or Jayanti, as, as I mentioned, um, is that, you know, it's not about being pro-women. It's, it's being fair. It's really being fair to, to everybody. I told you even the column on the Zomato thing, I actually started with that. Because for me, it was, you know, that the picture spoke to me when he, when he said, because that's also true, just as much as it is. True, whatever the... the and now he's a real minority. When the world has swayed, Indian world has swayed completely pro-woman, at least uh, political correctness, uh, maybe not inside, uh, for the woman against the man in most cases. Is yeah, it, is... it's, 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 you know, it's really beyond the agenda as, as, I, as I saw it. And therefore, I just see that, you know, just because it is, you know, you would want to be seen as woke or you want to be feminist, do not lose your sense of fair play and, and what exactly has happened? It's it, at the end of the day, it's sometimes at least, it doesn't matter whether it's a ma man or a woman, but who has been wronged? And that is how I think you, you have to keep your simple uh, sense of judgment. I so hope the wise word, Cyrus. Who are I better think, judges, men or women? Um, ah. oh. I think little, little women are more uh, better in judging. I say this because I know my husband. You know, and so I, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm looking at, at your well, entire gender. I'm, I'm not a rabid feminist, but I would say females have a much more just sense than men. This is my belief. Is based on your uh, huh? next to you, uh, whose reflection I see is no, my, <laughs> leave my wife out of it because she's actually the uh, she's she's the paradox here. But generally speaking, she's right there. By the way, uh, generally speaking, I've just noticed maybe it's the nurturing ability which is most women seem to have better than us men. Or I just think Indian urban men are just we just so selfish and conceited. It's a little difficult to be just. For yourself, I don't see the other person in the frame as conceited. Look at him. I mean, his entire <laughs> body language says that he's an extremely no. Rabbit feminist. <laughs> no, I, I'm, I'm a big fan of, I've been saying this so many times, I'm a fan of women's energy. I think women's energy is more than man's. You know what we call that Shakti, that uh, uh, Durga Shakti or whatever, that divine thing, power. And I feel that, that because of that, there's just more power in the female form than there ever be in the male form. Male form is just physically strong and that's just a small issue. It really counts for nothing. He speaks, I mean, kind things to, is this really him? No, I'm a huge fan of women. I, 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 I don't like men. I've never liked men. You've I never like men. Ah. There's nothing to like about men. We scratch, we spit, we do no work, and we don't understand empathy from any angle. And we never will. And it's all our mother's fault. So in that sense, you are to blame. Yeah. To some extent. Yeah. Yeah, Look at Silvery. He doesn't want to leave the home. Rajbha Chawal mil gaya usko. Bas, kaafi hai. And I don't hey. have to lay the table. I don't have to clean the button. I don't have to do any work. Yeah. I mean, uh, go. Uh, Live in I mean, the States for three months. You'll come running back to Pawai. <laughs> what are the odds though? I did literally have Radhan Chal just last night. Uh, there you go. For, not, uh, not even. Socrates. Uh, yeah, I uh, speak it the truth. <laughs> <laughs> Can we squeeze right. one more in? Yes, please. Yeah. Uh, next one comes in from Nikhil Rabindra. He says, wow, uh, remember listening to Vasanti on Radio City in Bangalore. She was my morning show to school. My aim is, what was the story behind the Chow Chow Bath show on Radio City? <laughs> You'll have to give us a little bit of perspective also. <laughs> yeah, see, Chow Chow Bath, for, for those who are not from Bangalore, is this delightful thing you go and order in a Darshini restaurant. I don't know, Mumbai's answer to Chow Chow Bath would be what, Misal Pao or some such? Oh. No, 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 but, but I'm saying apple orange situation. Chow You're Chow just saying like, like, not exactly the same, yeah. Yeah, so you you have um, uh, Kharabath, which is which is a 
refined version of upma you both know upma don't you <laughs> yes yeah, of course yes. <laughs> I, i have a cousin called upma ha go on. <laughs> yeah it means it means something more you know uh, profound but yeah, yeah. you have khara baat and you have kesri baat so which means you have a complete infusion of flavors into your mouths when you begin one spoon of this and one spoon of that so the show which was of kannada songs uh, on radio it was meant to be uh, you know it's like sometimes you get to chow chow baat maar beda you know like or bisi bele baat maar which maar beda matlab don't make it so right but then it it kind of was a show where you you got different flavors you got retro kannada songs and and i could speak to you that famous kannada song that i love in english that tik tok tik tok if you come today it will be too late that's our dr raj who dr raj i love that song don it is called operation diamond rocket it's a fabulous video it is really nice yeah sorry gone yes so that was the show i think he was uh, he was uh, referring to and i'm glad that someone who heard me while he was going to school has grown up to be a young, young man and ask me questions i think whenever we get these things uh, of course i'm not dating you but uh, it's really it's amazing the people who grew up or at a certain age in their life maybe 10 to 18 20 whoever they listen to or hear or watch they seem to have a much stronger uh, bond with that sort of media person or whatever than they have later on i don't yeah. know why if there's a reason for that so obviously the kind of mark that you've left from those radio shows and the intimacy that radio gives you with the yes. listener feeling you're alone with the listener you know uh, two of you all talking about that true that and and i think uh, you know this sort of a very peculiar kind of fame uh, such as what i experience which is that if people have heard me on that good morning bangalore and this thing is still and and thankfully there was no visual uh, on slot on radio it's not like you have to finish your show and then do your live god terrible like you know you, i could walk into my uh, radio station in my night clothes and uh, sayed saab who was a security guy and me that's hey, the watchman my point the watchman the biggest yeah. most imp- no. good morning bangalore with the watchman oh. yes i'm telling you uh, best buddy so this is how it was and so it was there was a certain aura and mystery i remember there was one time when they were inaugurating what's now called the pvr cinema and forum mall in bangalore and they actually called us they put our names and pictures huh. and in hoardings my uh, my sister who used to work for uh, wipro at that point and said that their friends drove down to see who these rjs are how they look like and when we actually went to the mall guess what there was someone calling out my name probably you know like how they would for brian adams or uh, Uh, you know, now uh, uh, this thing, and they actually hired bouncers for us. In so my case, what a radio career did. If it happened to me, it would have been the watchman calling my name because I parked the car in a wrong area. That's normally my association with fame. But uh, you know, I I totally accept that. There's something beautiful about radio. Sorry, sorry. Now, given your kind of fame, I'm saying which is which is 50x than mine. Did you not get to open beauty parlors, cutting ribbons, gyms? Oh, I've I've done all kinds of things, but the watchman won't let me in because they don't know who I am. The people who call me know who I am, but I'm, it's the most embarrassing part is I fought with so many watchmen and security guards all my life, uh, naka bandis everywhere. Nobody knows who you are. Only the person, the client knows who you are. But you meet the client at the end, after which you've been punched, kicked, slapped, humiliated. It's <laughs> always been the same. Thing. I once I was the chief guest at some event at NSCI. and they wouldn't let me in because there are police cordoned off everywhere and then watchmen and all that and you got into a fist fist fight with a watchman at the end and then oh. you know next thing i know the organizers come my suit is all gone my tie is out and you know and uh, i'm like really angry <laughs> it's so embarrassing being a two bit chief guys either you're shahrukh khan and everybody knows who you are and the the, the c parts like moses or you know for moses or oh, it's a waste of time honestly being a c grade celebrity is a joke you just people they oh wo koi hai naam nahi malum but uh, he's oh, somebody i hear you i hear you <laughs> not you <laughs> you you have that intimate connection the quality audience is pearl padamsi god bless her soul would have But said you know one thing useful came out of it today which is that i was trying to get rt pcr slots which were not really available and this thing and then i picked a phone on on someone who i said But please help me out i'm supposed to show this in calcutta tomorrow morning on arrival and this thing and then she heard my voice and of course she took my name and then she said vasanti i'm your biggest fan i used to hear you on the radio show and this was a laboratory the chief pathol i mean the founder of, of this uh, labs in fact you know who's not just uh, you know this thing so something good is to useful is to come out of fame i would say i i got my i got my shot and and, and let's say the test done no oh, i'm telling you radio podcast to some extent very stronger feel with the with the bond with the listener 
So I yeah. think that bond, your it's like having extra children now for life because that bond is much stronger. I think in TV it just comes and goes. Oh, you know, yeah. Yesterday's news and then you know you're treated horribly. The same restaurant which would open the door for me, the same restaurant says, "Abi uh, vacancy nahi hai kam ke." You know, I mean, it's just <laughs> how it switches. Silvery, enjoy your fame while it lasts because they really make fun of us at the end of the day. It's okay. embarrassing. Can we have one last question? Yes, Can we must. Mother? Yeah. Uh, next one, uh, last one comes in from Mani Padmanabhan. He says. Uh, What's your best Which guess? Which is as slash... Tamil as you can get. Huh? Sorry, sorry. Yeah. Uh, so Mani Padmanabhan asks, best, best guess uh, slash prediction on Bengal elections? Oh. Is it another head-to-head battle of two evils or is this going to <laughs> really benefit the people of Bengal? <laughs> How cynical is the Indian voter? Sorry, Vasanthi, you take this. Come on, you're going right into the lion's den or lioness's den. We'll soon, oh, and, soon and, know. You know, I shall, I shall mince uh, no birds on this. I shall, uh, I shall not. What are you saying? Yes, I'm telling you, it's 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 the it's uh, uh, the truth which which I'm uh, I'm full of these insights that as I go into that stage. It's a I'm very rare. It's a it's like the tiger. It's very rare now. This truth, huh? So be careful. Uh-huh. Go on. <laughs> yeah, but but if uh, Mr. Mani Patmanabhan uh, wants to really know what it's looking like, um, what I'm hearing, and this is really op- you know opinion or or hearsay, is that the TMC is having an edge, an edge. We are not saying who's leading, who's not. Um, and to use very cliched um, poll words, there is, of course, the anti-incumbency factor uh, at, at play, which basically means that, especially in the 2018 polls, the, the, the Panchayat polls, which a lot of people uh, felt unleashed violence from the TMC side, violence, there was a lot of rigging. So there is the other picture also. So I will not uh, play a diplomat, but I'm, I'm just saying that at this moment, one can't, uh, say whether it is uh, Didi, who, who a lot of Bengalis feel should come simply because they don't want to let an outsider come in. But there is enough of a case for BJP uh, to, to say that, okay, if, if there is someone who can take on the TMC and what they have unleashed in the past few years, it is these people. But I can say what's certainly not a factor. The You'll probably tell us better in the next couple of days. But let me just quickly say, uh, we were in Calcutta, me and Kostov were sitting with me now. Because we remember Calcutta, we had a great time there, right? Uh, and so we spoke to the urban, the urban people around us at the event we did, I upmarket, uh, Sonar, ITC, all that. It seemed more BJP supportive. Mm. But uh, the people, uh, uh, let's say working class, and those who are talking in the taxi, talking with people who are helping with the bags, etc. And I love talking politics. It seemed very much TMC. So for me, I, it's almost, I, I don't know if this is the right way of putting it, but it seemed more urban rural clash here, yeah, uh, yeah. possibly. And yeah, of course, yeah. the Trump card being Bangladesh border. Because suddenly you get voting cards and you can vote apparently very easily during the times of election. So they say, who, what do we know? Yes. We don't know. What do we know? What do yeah, we, we know? know. Is how this yeah. nation. But, uh, but I think I, I think no. I think you're right. I think the edge, as you see, that's the right word to use, uh, is slightly uh, favoring TMC, which means BJP has come a long way. This is the last time round, or at least twice, two times uh, before that, there was no chance in hell. Yeah, yeah. I mean, imagine out of the 294 seats in in the assembly, West Bengal, right now, if. There's someone who can aspire to crossing the halfway vote. It's, it's really, really some, you know, some progress, I would say. So I think we okay. should leave with that. We we'll leave it there. Let's not discuss our personal political agenda. I haven't decided which uh, dog to pick in any fight. I like to see the fight end and then decide. It's always the safest uh, presumption ever. Vasanthi, it's been great talking to you as usual. You out talked me, talk too much, but it's a pleasure yeah, to have I you with me. I shall stay, um, you know, with the underdog. This is the line I was dying to make. But I always stay with the underdog, or rather my wife does, because she's stuck with me. But uh, we'll, we'll hear more from you on the IBM family. Yes. So we'll see you soon. It's been a real pleasure. And if you're interested in buying uh, great moments of Indian cricket for your husband, uh, I'll give you a special rate of five grand. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Three grand? I knew there was something good to come out of being on, on your show. This is exactly... Two thousand. Yeah, One thousand and selfie. So, little discount. Say la vie, as they say in Bengal. Bye bye. Bye bye, everybody.